Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Hello. So, in the last episode, we fought... Was it Lady Butterfly? Yes. Yeah, Lady Butterfly, a bunch. Managed to get through the first phase after a very long fight to get there. And then it turns out, not surprisingly, they have a second phase. Which seems to be even harder. So, uh, I'm just going to put that to the side and come back to it later when I have more skills and more knowledge and more experience and whatnot. Which means... I'm going to continue back around the Ashina outskirts, but before that, something I want to do. Um, Anni was watching the past videos and found out that, remember the Robert's Firecrackers thing that I bought from the Memorial Crow Mob person? Well, it turns out that is a Shinobi prosthetic, or can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic anyway. I thought it was just like a single-use item. It seemed awfully expensive being 500 sen, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a prosthetic thing, so let's go install it. There we go. Thank you. So let's go test it out. See what it sounds like, see how many spirit emblems it costs. Uh, I need to put it right on my hotbar. I'll replace a flaming vent. It's not something I need that often. Also, <clears throat> after your time with practice, you could um, go visit the old woman who got a dragon rot. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't I already try to talk with them again, though? No, in the in the in the in the memory but not in in current day not in oh. this moment oh oh right yeah they didn't get they didn't get it in the memory of course damn that's really cool it takes two spirit emblems that's so cool looking i think the uh, spiral of sparks that shoot out are almost more cool than the explosions <laughs> Okay, so it's supposed to scare animals. I'll use that if any more of those giant chickens come after me. Yeah. Oh my god, now you can not scare, not hurt dogs. You can just scare them. Oh, maybe. Depends what they do. Can't imagine they're going to just disappear forever. They, hmm, We'll see. Gate path. I think this is probably the... Maybe the closest way you get to the old woman? Yeah. So yeah, this is where I left off at the Ashina outskirts before I took the bell charm to the statue and then went into the memory. Oh, it's actually tested out on you right now. Hasn't seen me. <laughs> Can I backstab it? Oh. I'll test it some other time. No! Oh, that's not the right one. I'm guessing that gets everybody's attention. Kind of loud. Fireworks. Ah. <sighs> Alright, let's go speak with her. Oh no. I wonder if the dragon rot progresses enough if the NPCs will start to just die. Oh my god, no! Anything more to say?
It's very inappropriate. Come on, I'm having a moment. Okay, oh, I'm out of here. Perfect time to test the firecrackers. Oh, it just like... Oh, it just like suns them so you can do a death blow. Nice. Alright, let me just get out of here and then I'm just gonna teleport back to the sculpture. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Take me home. <laughs> Take me home to the temple where I belong. It's beautiful. Thanks, babe. Okay, so here's where we left off. Never went over there. Speaking of, have I been down here? I know I went down over there, but I don't think I've been down here. I was like, for a second, I thought you were going to jump. I was considering it. <laughs> oh my god, babe, no. I guess I'll go down there. Oh my god. So I could hang on this ledge if I wanted to. There's no point though, right? No. Where have I been and where have I not been? Like, I know I've been around this area. Remember the dragon? Or a uh, snake skin? Huge yes. one? Yes. Uh. I know. Yeah, there's the skin. Oh, maybe I didn't actually get that close to the skin, though. Maybe no. I don't remember. No, wait, you've been here. You've been here, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I just assumed it would take me somewhere fine. I think it was like a swing thing. Yeah. Doesn't it always swing you to the right spot? I don't know. Maybe not. Fuck, I'm scared of them now. But, um... Apparently when you jump out from places, this is something that I just deduced with my huge throbbing brain, is that if you jump off somewhere, that kills you. But mm -hmm. you have resurrections, it just puts you back on the map, but hurts you. Hmm. Because okay. it can't resurrect you there at the bottom of the thing. But it doesn't actually use a resurrection? No. Yeah, I'm not using that. <laughs> Maybe it just, like, takes you straight across, so, like, I need to use this from a different angle? Yeah. Like, this one? Okay, so it's not always guaranteed safety. Good to know. Yeah, Jesus. So yeah, I've definitely been here, but I feel like there's gotta be something I'm missing, right? Because I don't think I really got anything down here. Yeah, you did. All the, all the balloons. All the hmm. loot balloons. True. But like, there's other... It looks like there's stuff over there, too. But how do I get there? How do I get there? Maybe you just have to fucking jump. <laughs> That's your best jump. I tried to jump. Oh my god. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying, isn't it? Oh. I don't like it. I'm not I a fan. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all unsubscribe. Oh, I see how to get there. I need to get over there. Which means I need to... 
jump down from like up there? Hmm, that's not gonna take me there. I think I need to fight forwards. Yeah. Looks like. What is that sound? Uh. Oh, that looks like a nasty enemy. Sounds I'm, like it's in pain. It sounds like it's chained up too. Like it's a prisoner or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe it's some sort of yokai. Oh, it's scared of fire. Ah, too bad I unequipped that. Yeah. I've been trying to deflect more, by the way. That's, That's what I was trying to do there, and I was just failing every single one. <laughs> I get the feeling I should probably just go back. Yeah. All right, just got all my stuff back at the idle since I made like almost no progress. <laughs> um, let's replace, I, I want the firecrackers. So I guess I'll replace the shurikens. I could just replace these at any time, so it's not a big deal. Okay. death blows for that thing. Oh, hello! You want to try stabbing me? I know something. Fucker. <laughs> Makiri counter. I just practiced that before this recording, actually. Uh, yeah, I wonder if that thing's gonna bust out when it sees me. I imagine so. Bust on through with Hyokai. <laughs> That's a reference to Griffin McElroy's um uh Pokemon What's it called? Nuzlocke? Nuzlocke run. Please watch it to understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. Chained ogre. Yep. Oh, I just saw something interesting. I just saw an opportunity to uh, launch towards it. Oh, 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 oh! Grab attacks. Grab attacks cannot be deflected. There's no way to avoid taking serious damage once grabbed. They can be evaded with a well-timed step dodge. So this is a place where you can get use out of that grab attack, huh? Yep. I'm waiting for it to do it again. I want to try it out. Yeah. Come on, try to grab me. I think I did it. I guess. Whoa! Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's alright, I'm fine. Does the fight continue? Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn, it's got some moves. Oh. 
Sorry. Not all right. <laughs> it was all right for a while. Yeah, so burning it a bunch is going to be perfectly fine. I just wanted to try out some of the other stuff. Yeah, you could try um, uh, dousing it in oil. Because like when it got yeah. the burn status, it was like really debilitated. Or if, what's the word? De debilitated? Debilitated. Debilitated is when you turn into a liberal. De deliberated? <laughs> Delipidated is when you are a democratic party member in the US and you can't get any political progress made. Hello, you're on fire? Mm -hmm. It's actually... Oh, it's hurting their vitality, so that's gonna make their... Oh, no. Yeah, hurting their vitality a bunch, which is gonna make them easy to uh, ruin their posture soon. gonna hurt. Oh, oh my god, I fell it that. did. Okay, you're gonna be a problem. Come here. <laughs> Shit. They both kind of move fast. Hello, your captors are like right there. Attack them. What Where is she? Is she? Doing? Trans means somewhere in the background just meowing. She must be playing with something. What is she doing? <laughs> she's just like in the kitchen screaming. <laughs> she does that when she's. She does that when she's like playing with little hair ties. She'll like grab them in her mouth and just scream for no reason. She doesn't scream for no reason. She screams because she's gay. Yeah, it's because she's gay. I'm doing this fight over again. Okay. The dude coming, I heard like, yeah, there you are. I'm really impressed with the ogre's moves. It's very cool. Yeah. Keep almost falling off that damn edge. Oh no. Did it? Oh, got me. I was just throwing oil at it. I think I actually, yeah, I actually threw oil on it. All right, burn. Do you have a heal? Oh. It. 
Yeah, I, I gotta heal after this. Oh god. Oh. It's not even dead. Nasty. can't. Oh. Uh, I don't have any emblems left. No more fire. I don't know how much that really did. Okay, I got a revive, which I'm gonna use. Oh, I also wanted to mention that the healing, bettering thing that you got doesn't just affect the gourd, it also affects the pellets. So your pellets should also be better. Oh, good. Yes! Oh. I think that's three? I think that's four. Oh, they gave me a skill. Medicine rank one. Latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Thank god! Medicinal knowledge is vital for a shinobi survival. Receiving wounds in battle is inevitable. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. You have four prayer breeds. Do I? I'm pretty sure you do. Man, it's taking me so long to get just enough for one level up. I wonder if the level ups are, like, pretty significant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, finally have four prayer beads, so let's spend them. First level up ever. It's not really a level up, I don't know. But, you know, first... I, I don't know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it a level <laughs> Evil up. <bead. laughs> Enhance physical attributes. Loose prayer beads strung together and offering to a sculptor's idol increases maximum vitality and posture. A prayer bead necklace befits the strong. The ferocity of Ashina's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented, every one of them accomplished in the Ashina sword style. That's great. How much? Uh. Yeah, you don't have a number on it, don't you? Well, it's, it says Vitality in the top right. 11? Did they used to be 10? But, I mean, surely I don't have only 11 hit points. No. Weird. Anyway, stuff is better. Your health got, bar got bigger. Oh, it's noticeably, noticeably bigger, then that's a good upgrade. That's what she said. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Oops. 
There you are. Come here. All the comments were right. The Mikiri counter is good. It's fucking good. I mean, it's good, but I don't know if I'd fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Someone suggested a good strategy for using things like the Balloon of Wealth. And that's that... Uh, well, based on their explanation, it sounds like the wealth change that the balloon brings isn't actually decided when the loot drops, but rather when you pick it up. So what we can do is like just kill a bunch of enemies and don't gather the gold. Like just trade, like you know, just keep going forwards and making a huge path of enemies without collecting any of the gold, and then use the balloon and then just like run backwards and collect it all. Yeah, I think that's because like unlike with like the loot balloon. Whether or not an enemy drops loot isn't, like, always guaranteed, so you have to use it before you kill the enemy. But an enemy always drops money. Do they always drop money? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Except for animals, which drop nothing. Yeah. But <laughs> that makes sense. I think that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Night jar monocular. Bamboo tube used to see distant objects. I finally... Yes! I've been waiting for this. While shinobi already have good vision, looking through this tube with one eye enables one to see even further. The night jar ninja serve Ashin Ashina, guarding the rooftops of Ashina Castle. Their sharp eyes on the lookout for any would-be trespassers. Not much escapes the eyes of a night jar. Remember the binoculars in Dark Souls 2? Yeah. I like those. Even if it was a pain in the ass to use them. <laughs> Speaking of, how do I use them? Maybe they're a pain in the ass to use as well. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd have, it is a pain in the ass in the same way. I'd have to put it on my uh, quick bar. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Oh, you can zoom in pretty far. And it's a controllable zoom. Which is kind of funny, because it's supposed to be just a bamboo tube, right? <laughs> like, it doesn't have a lens. Does it have a bamboo lens, too? I'm not going to complain. <laughs> anyway, I probably don't need all this stuff on my hotbar. Like, I, I don't use antidote powder very often. I'll put it on if I need it. Gourd seed, yes. Did I go over here? No, I didn't. I think you missed something in the other room, though. Doesn't open from the side. Yeah, I'm definitely not done with this room. Oh, good. Goes over. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to debate whether I should go back and use the gourd seed. I'll just keep going forwards. I'll go back if I if I need to, like if I run out of healing. Yeah. <laughs> 